Mr. Smith, thank you so much. Uh, I mean, okay, so no, no change out of, out of the BOJ. There's a press briefing that's taking place in about three hours from now. What do you think we should be watching out for most closely there? Well, obviously, uh, Kuroda is, uh, is ten and done. Um, he um, spent uh, four and a half trillion dollars trying to get uh, inflation back into the economy. Uh, the, the results of that are, uh, I, I think, uh, fairly small. Um, and so, fine, he'll have his chance to, uh, to explain himself, and then he's out the door. So really what we're interested in is what the next guy um, uh, thinks about all of this. He was um, voted into the job yesterday, um, and I think his, his uh, thinking is very, very different. So if we look at what's going on, the, uh, the BOJ has been trying to defend its yield curve control by buying bonds very heavily. So, that, so since the beginning of December, they've bought 55.91 trillion yen. That's worse than my wife. Um, 51 point, uh, <laughs> so that's uh, $422 billion, smack on 10% of GDP just since the start of December. Now, you look back on what um, uh, new governor uh, Ueda said about this in a meeting in November of 2016. He was saying when the BOJ owned just one third of the bond market that this was unsustainable. Now the, the, the BOJ owns 56% of the, the, the bond market. It's hitting the end stop on what it can do. So the banks, the pension funds, um, the, uh, the lifers have really sold all they can afford to, uh, to sell. And now we have a, a dysfunctional uh, bond market that trades pretty much by, uh, by appointment. So I would expect that uh, with the arrival of the uh, Ueda, the question will be, will he get rid of yield curve control in his first meeting on, what, the 28th of, of April, or will it be in his second meeting? But by June, I reckon we're done. Just to clarify, when you say we're done by June, does that mean we will no longer have any ceiling, even if it's much, much higher than current levels uh, on, on, on Japanese bonds, for Japanese bond yields, that is, just to be more specific? Sure. So I think the, uh, the comments made by uh, Ueda are essentially saying we saw on the 20th of December that tinkering with uh, yield curve control just makes things worse uh, and attracts attention from, um, from traders. The, the only thing to do is you've either got it or you haven't got it, but tinkering with it doesn't matter. Mm. So my, my belief is that we'll be done with this with uh, yield curve control by uh, the end of June. And then the question is, where are we, when are we going to come out of... Um, of negative interest rates at the uh, the short end, uh, and we listen to the um, politely listen to economists, but frankly, they uh, they <laughs> couldn't hit a barn door with a shovel. What we're really interested in is what the uh, the traders say, and uh, and futures on those uh, are suggesting that we'll be out of negative interest rates by the end of the uh, of the year. And I think you would agree. When it was brought in uh, in January 2016. It's um, the, the BOJ hardly covered itself in glory. <clears throat> Strong statement to say that yield curve control will be completely gone by June, particularly when we've heard uh, the uh, uh, gra granted that uh, Mr. Oeda was testifying in Parliament. And you kind of have to be careful what you say and maybe say what people want to hear. But he gave no indication that he was looking towards anything like that. And no matter how much it may make sense, that seems like. Uh, it, 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 it's, it's a statement that has not been held up by anything he has said yet. And I guess what you're saying is, oh, it's going to be so hard. It's going to mess things up so badly that he has to get rid of it, and he has to get rid of it right now, even though, again, the, the ruling LDP party, a very strong faction, seems to be opposed to anything like that. Sure. I mean, I think um, people, when they were trying to work out what um, what Ueda thought, they went to his uh, Nikkei interview back in the middle of last year, and he was saying, "Don't be too hasty." He sounded like uh, like Treebeard in the uh, the Lord of the Rings. But <laughs> if you go back to what he'd been saying earlier, he was saying it was un unsustainable, and it clearly is. And so, but testimony in, in Parliament, he was channeling Greenspan, being very careful uh, to be. Um, a, 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 a riddle wrapped in an, right. uh, an enigma. But uh, once he's through that, then he's protected by the Bank of Japan law um, and able to get on with what he thinks is, uh, okay. is best for the country, which well, is tidying up this, uh, this mess. 